beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Proverbs chapter 21, please. Proverbs chapter 21 continues to emphasize the need for strength in a believer's journey. 21, Proverbs 24, I beg your pardon, verse 10. Proverbs 24, verse 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, the diagnosis is that what? Your strength is small. Modern cars very modern cars are so equipped that when the fuel is getting to reserve certain features that use the fuel will minimize or stop working is that true the ac may be minimized the capacity as proof that the fuel is going down and when you refill it again you find out that all of those futures are back it's a system of conserving what is left so that the car will not die and the bible says if you faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small the first revelation i want you to get is that among the many days in a man's life there is a day called the day of adversity Jesus said, this is your hour and the power of darkness. It's a message to strengthen the body of Christ because for many people, our lives and our experiences have not been exactly the best. In the midst of all the joy and the celebration, there are people right now who have been bereaved. There are people right now who... Um, have lost jobs, have lost opportunities. I got a text, um, I think this afternoon or so, while I was praying about a family who had been praying for a dead corpse for a few days, still believing that that dead body will come back to life. Now, it's very difficult to teach these kinds of things because believers, um, it is not in in our normal human um, it is not a normal desire to want to admit that days like this are part of the days in a man's life it is difficult for you to think that a day can come when you will stand before a corpse of your loved one it is difficult for you to think that one day you will stand and watch your eviction letter from a landlord everybody wants to be positive everybody wants to move forward it is difficult for you to stand and then get a doctor's report that you thought your wife was pregnant and she wasn't pregnant it is difficult to get a report that tells you you have cancer and the cancer is dying your kidney has failed and all of that and most believers are not mentored into the spiritual system allocated by which the saints remain strong are we blessed yes 
This is the reason why several people, when they confront challenges in their lives, when they confront things that negate their faith, when their prayers and their expectations don't come to pass, many are discouraged, many are depressed, many leave God, many even die. Tonight's message will bless you in no small way and add it to the spiritual archives of your life because for as long as you live, you will need it one day. Hallelujah. As a man of God, I've had the privilege to weep with many families who have lost their loved ones. People have lost jobs. People have celebrated. People have done all kinds of things. And sometimes it's very difficult to let believers see. And sometimes we preachers, especially for us that God has granted grace to walk in the miraculous and to walk in the truths of the word of God, it's difficult to also create space in our teaching where we help people understand that it is not unusual when believers pass through turbulent times in their lives and their family. It's usually not a message that is very accepted. It is not pleasant. And so when the believer is now sick, when the person now has an accident, when something happens, it becomes difficult to explain. Are we blessed? If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Hallelujah. Psalms 46 and then verse 1 to 3. Please write it down. Psalm 46, verse 1 and 3. Look up while I read. It says, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Verse 2. It says, though, therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed. Now, I don't know what the psalmist was thinking in his mind, <laughs> but I'm a very creative person. When I read the Bible, I take it seriously. Though the earth be removed, do you know what that means? That the earth is removed. Then we stand on what? <laughs> Are we together now? He says, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, verse 3, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, it says God is our refuge and our strength. One more scripture and then we'll discuss a few things. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. Paul is speaking to the church in Philippi and this is what he says. I can do all things. But he says, I can only do them through the strength that Christ gives. It takes strength to do all things. It takes strength to build a house. It takes strength to build a company. It takes strength to build a marriage. It takes strength to build your spiritual life. It takes strength to go from glory to glory. And Paul is saying, I can only do all things by the strength that Christ supplies. That means outside of that strength, I may not be able to do many things that my destiny require. This is very important. These scriptures all show us that believers need strength. Everybody says strength. In fact, the Bible says in Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32, it says, but the people, the B part now, that do know their God. One of the rewards for knowing God in a believer's life is strength. Hallelujah. Strength. Let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. It takes a while for the word of God to prevail over a man's life. For results to begin to be produced. It takes a while for church to grow. It takes a while for the business to grow. That staying power to push and to remain until the word prevails is what many believers lack. And sadly, sometimes we preachers, in a bit to challenge and encourage people, we continue to make people feel that the moment the word of God does not work immediately, something may be wrong with your faith. So when the person cannot pay his or her rent, once the person cannot pay his or her bills, sometimes they get, um, they get into that mold 
that begin to suggest that they do not love God. It is not so. Strength is required. It is a finisher's requirement in this kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's discuss the concept of weariness. I studied this and it blessed me in no small way. The Bible lets us know that men can be weary. That the moment you are a mortal man on earth, the possibility of exhaustion, the possibility of discouragement, the possibility of being depressed by the vicissitudes of life is something that can always catch up with you. Are we together now? Psalm 23 from verse 1 and verse 3. The reality of weariness. Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And then when you go to verse 2, it says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. The revelation is in verse 3. He restored my soul. That means the soul of a man can need restoration. The same way your body needs rest. A time can come you are fagged out by all the things that happen in life. All men can be weary. Pay attention to this revelation. It is a very powerful one. Isaiah chapter 40, popular scripture from verse 29. In fact, let's start from verse 28. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, 40, 28, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is he weary. So he's talking about weariness. He says there is no searching of his understanding. 29. He says he giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Are we together now? So this scripture show that men can be weary. One time, Jesus carrying the burden of the cross, he got to Gethsemane. And the Bible says that he prayed and the prayer was like drops of blood. And then from thence, he carried the cross and on his way to Golgotha, at a point he fell down with the cross to the point that they had to get a man called Simon of Cyrene, the nigger, to help him lift the cross. Otherwise, he would not be able to get to Golgotha. Are we together now? Yes. Moses was weary one time and he said, Lord, I don't know the kind of people you have anointed me to lead. These people are a stiff-necked people. Right now I tell them God is saying this. They rejoice. Tomorrow they stand before the sea and they point to me and say, Moses, you are the reason we would have eaten cucumber and, and locusts and all of that. At least it was better. Now you are taking us to a supposed promised land. We are standing before the Red Sea. And Moses said, Lord, you know what? Please come and handle this, your people. So men can be weary. Elijah the prophet, when a woman was pursuing him, he ran one time and hid and then he didn't know what to do with his life and the guy was tired. Jonah's own was even a disturbing situation because Jonah literally, knowing that a man cannot run away from God, Jonah opted to run. And Jonah's running was legitimate. Why was it legitimate? He said, God, I know you are a merciful God. After these wicked people finish punishing me, I now go and preach. They will fast, they will repent, and you will act. You are wasting my time so that I will become the scapegoat. And Jonah was on his way. He now entered a boat, caused trouble in the boat, and the people casted lots, and they said, you know what? We are going to throw this man out. And then right he goes to the belly of the fish. Men can be weary. Elijah was receiving supernatural supplies at Bukcheri. One day the Bible says the brook dried. Hmm. The brook dried. So the reality of the weariness of men is something that we must get used to it. Listen, believers can be exhausted. Know this and let it be factored in your Christian experience as you walk with God. That it is not unspiritual to get to a point in your life where you become exhausted. You can be exhausted over your children's school fees. 
A parent one day can look at his child and say, ah, why, why did these children, how did I even allow these children come? And sometimes you feel guilty and you feel bad. It is the reality of weariness. Are we together now? Yes. House rent. They slash your salary by half. They increase your salary by, they increase your house rent by double. And you stand before your landlord and you don't know what to tell him. What sermon do I now preach to this man? My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you this. When believers become wary, we must sustain the intelligence on how to navigate. You are a man of God. You are anointed. But nobody is placing a demand on your grace. Hmm. You go to a crusade and finish preaching. You make an altar call after three hours of preaching and only two people stroll out. As though they are pitying you. They just stroll out and stand and you ask them to pray the salvation prayer they don't even pray it and you stand there lord did you call me or what what is if you didn't call me just tell me i will politely look for something else to do men can be very very weary i remember one time a particular gentleman was preparing for his his marriage and um you know god will make a way pushing things and then a point got it became kind Apostle, I said, just, just push forward. There is grace. I mean, the finisher's anointing is a possibility in the kingdom. <laughs> but honestly speaking, he got to a point where it was about one week to the wedding. And uh, the bills were a mountain that were refusing to move. And everybody can prophesy and say, I saw your wedding happening already. But it's true in the realm of the spirit. But now the possibilities to make it happen in the physical realm didn't seem to be there. And up until four or so days, I remember having to call the gentleman and to encourage him and to say, look, don't worry, God is faithful. There is God that sits in the heavens. Many years ago, another gentleman was preparing for his marriage and three days to the wedding, he refused to go to the city where he would get married. Yes, I mean, he just had to just, Lord, I don't know what you would do with me, but it's three days to my marriage, there are bills. House rent. I've seen it squash people, ministry. When you have a crowd of people, 5,000, 10,000, and then everything begins to go down, and you can barely have 500. What happens when these kinds of seasons come in your life? Praise the Lord. So weariness is a reality with all men and this is why we need strength. Now I have identified from scripture two major causes of weariness. Please pay attention. There are two major causes that can make believers, any individual to be weary. Number one, according to scripture, is hope deferred. Proverbs chapter 13, please, and verse 12. Give it to us, media. Let's hurry up. Hope deferred. The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree that can minister life. So one of the reasons why people can be exhausted, one of the reasons why people can be... Um, this courage and broken is prolonged expectation. Listen very carefully. Hope deferred can literally make the heart. The word heart there is spirit. The Bible says a man's spirit can break, not just a human body. If your body is broken, the doctor can treat it. If your soul is broken, a therapist can psychologically manage you. But when your spirit is broken, the Bible says no man is able to bear it. Are we together now? Hope deferred. Results that you expect in your life do not come. You expected that at age 30 you would have built a house. You expected that by the time you have four children, you should be financially free. You expected that by the time you are 10 years in ministry, you should be established and have membership. When hope is deferred, it can torture the heart. Are we blessed? The number one reason why believers get worried. Let me tell you this. We are beings of results. Let me use you. And we desire advancement. Everybody say advancement. 
this gentle man there is an instinct in him to continue to make progress that means that this year or this month next year or next month there should be progress by the time an individual is caused whether by life or whatever it is to either retrograde or stagnate it is dangerous the bible says it can do something to you that no man can bear are, are we together now yes there are people who you know reach me and send me text messages and say apostle i am tired and frustrated i've been in ministry you know when this brother was sharing his testimony i sat back there and i was just nodding my head because it is painful when you tell people the call of god is upon your life and there are no results to testify results are powerful results validate many things among them that you are operating by laws correctly among them that you are in the will of god so when results when your life is barren of results it can do something to your heart hallelujah praise the lord i once prayed with a family that were trusting god for a miracle for their child they had a child but the child had a condition that was a very serious thorn in the flesh for the family very young boy i mean he could go wild and even injure his siblings very blessed man but that thing was just there and i remember when i wanted to pray for them and i was encouraging them um i closed my eyes to pray and then i opened my eyes and i saw the man still looking at me now you may laugh it's not unbelief it is what weariness can do to the spirit how many of you have gone to several men of god for prayer they've prayed and prophesied and said it is done and then the next time i see it here sometimes when i'm praying for people on the queue oh lord i pray that you, and, and the person you you know he's just looking at you and just saying look just finish this prayer and let me go Lazarus had been there three days and when Jesus came he said I know in the resurrection when everything is gone you know I've told you that I've been kept a few times in the mortuary alone to pray for dead bodies and it's an experience that is quite interesting because you will stretch your faith and watch a dead body immovable sometimes already embalmed and you don't know what to do there you end up thinking about your own life in that in that mortuary i mean that's the most profitable thing you can do because the body is if you tell someone stand up from a wheelchair at least he can move his leg it's just that the leg is not strong but you speak to a dead body and you are even afraid of a dead body answering Are we together if the dead body actually answers remember the door is closed for security reason blessed be god hope deferred financial expectations especially now in africa and nigeria my god the way this finance thing is doing people and the kinds of depression depression that someone can just stand by the road and just look at life and take a deep breath go home sit on a chair and die nothing exactly wrong just the reality of life hallelujah so we are beings of results and we are beings of progress and the moment your life listen cannot attain on to certain levels of progress within an appreciable period of time it is true that weariness can set in the first reason hope deferred prolonged expectations the second reason from scripture why weariness sets into the lives and the destinies of people is called sorrow write it down please sorrow sorrow are we together what is sorrow a feeling of deep distress 
a feeling of deep distress that is caused by losses, caused by disappointments, caused by misfortune, a feeling of deep distress deep distress caused by loss could be loss of a loved one could be loss of a job could be disappointment you expected admission like some of you probably you expected the final year result to come out with you completely done and now you are seeing an extra year there sorrow and sorrow has symptoms let me list for you two or three of them number one is sadness you can interpret sorrow by the sadness that is in the heart of a man number two you can interpret sorrow or you can discern sorrow by depression human beings just become depressed they have no inspiration to aspire at life again nothing is ever worth their energy or strength sorrow rise up let's pray again it's no use rise up let's build a company again it's no use rise up as the one who is now left to take care of your siblings it's no use sadness depression downheartedness i have met very discouraged uninspired people in this life and i've been shocked and broken by their approach to life they can be on the road passing and a car is honing and it makes no difference to them whether they die or leave as far as they are concerned they are dead there are people like that an example of such a person was mephibosheth in the bible mephibosheth had to come to terms with the reality of his being crippled and the fact that he would never have the opportunity to make any good out of his life again i hope you understand that in the days of mephibosheth there was no technology to draw inspiration from anybody that guy was left there so when king david sent for him hear his response oh king what do you have to do with a dog when a man calls himself a dog, let me tell you, one of the characteristics of sorrow is you begin to name yourself what God did not call you. Life can push you down to a point where you start calling yourself what God has not called you. I am good for nothing. You can tell yourself. I cannot amount to anything. I am the worst in my family, you hear people say. I am the black sheep. No inspiration to aspire for a life that is great. People admit defeat and sit back there. And then before you know it, their lives fold. Because they do not sustain a superior revelation again. There are people who have packed up ministry. And just said, you know what? This ministry thing, I quit. It's over. I've tried there are people who have packed up businesses after failing 10 15 times they just say you know what i've done my best there are people who have given up on their children i'm sorry i can't pay your school fees i can't take care of you do whatever you want to do with your life sorrow is a very serious thing i've had the opportunity to comfort families that have lost loved ones and sometimes no matter what you are saying the mother or the father is just looking at you they want to believe what you are saying they hope one day they will believe it but for that moment they don't are we together yes i think the admission list just came out or so for i think abu or i don't know which of the institutions and there were people who probably didn't get admission in the list that was released and some of them continued i i read some of their text messages and honestly tears were almost coming to my eyes because some of them said apostle 11 years apostle seven years apostle this one this one sorrow is a reason why weariness can eat a man like a cancer and you become a shadow of yourself because you are sorrowful so hope deferred and sorrow are two
biblical causes of the weariness in men. No wonder our world today is filled with depressed men. Medical people will tell you the volumes of drugs that are consumed, especially by men. Do you know why? Because the inability to be able to provide, the inability to be able to be there, sometimes can so discourage the man he stands and says, well, I know I'm good for nothing. I know I'm not able to take care of my wife and family. And because of that, they draw conclusions. And like Mephibosheth, even when the king is calling, they say, don't call a dog, call men. I am a dog. Hallelujah. This is very powerful. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve. Serve you with my life. Serve you with my worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, bow in worship, bow in worship. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve, to serve you with my life, to serve you in worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, to bow in worship, bow in worship. There are times that you're reducing yourself is to honor God, but there are times that reducing yourself is because life has made you so. Life has beaten you to a point where you do not see that you can stand again. There are times when you are a king but you put your golden crown so that you will worship. But there are times it is not worship. It is just life that has hit you down. There are times you go on your knees because you are worshiping God. But there are times you go on your knees because you do not see any hope in life again. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. You made me royalty, but I choose to serve, to serve you with my life, to serve you in worship. You made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, but I choose to bow. Bow my heart. I will never forget many years ago when one of our precious ones in this ministry went to be with the Lord. She was a leader, served God with all her heart, loved God. She was so dear to me, I loved her with my whole heart. And she quickly just went to do something and returned back. And I remember I was counseling someone. When a call comes to me, and then my attention is needed. And then they break the news that this my most precious, precious daughter has transited to go to be with the Lord. I remember how I thought about it and I said, oh boy. I remember when God granted me the privilege to visit with the family and I held the mother and the mother began to sing and the mother began to encourage us and the mother began to rejoice. I said stamina, that's what it's called. You know a man's level of spiritual dexterity, not when things are happening. But sometimes it's when nothing is happening. Do you have the staying power when the word of the Lord is yet to come through in your life? Do you have the staying power when the church has not opened up? Do you have the staying power when you are fasting and praying and the anointing does not seem to come upon your head? 
you watch all your colleagues and contemporaries already walking in certain dimensions but for you it is not there you watch all your colleagues with jobs some of them becoming managers and here you are after 15 17 years you are still looking for a job weariness sorrow can set in hallelujah are we together now yes let me teach you very quickly before we pray how to be strengthened in this kingdom I show you keys that you will hold and your life will remain an unending wonder I show you keys that you will hold and you will defeat life and beat it at its game hmm. how to be strengthened number one the first key to draw strength in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God write it down the first key that is allocated by which we draw strength from in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God first John chapter 3 and verse 1 we'll look at a few scriptures very quickly first John chapter 3 and verse 1 behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not behold what manner of love let me tell you something the revelation of the love of God is therapeutic is a wonder that when you stand and look at life and the awareness that the monarch of the universe has invested his love upon you is a revelation that if understood can change your life hallelujah people have received calls from presidents people have received calls from diplomats i've had a few calls in my life from great people prominent people and i can tell the excitement in my heart wow this person that person was able to reach out to me i mean it, it's very comforting and blessing when the great reach out to you it does something that is comforting and healing and then the monarch of the universe looks down on you no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me it's a revelation you must have there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me is found in Jeremiah 31 and verse 3 powerful revelation in a world of wickedness in a world of selfishness in a world that is governed by interest it is a revelation to know Jeremiah what did I say chapter please search for me I hope we got it right I have loved thee with an everlasting love that's right therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee it's a revelation after the grace this my adorable children will be here lined up to give me a wonderful hug and how I've so missed them 
And every time I hug every one of these children, I look at their eyes and I see the confidence they have in fatherhood. This is what the Bible is saying. I have loved thee. Do you know what it means to have an everlasting love? I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Huh. This is the God of heaven. Believers, hear me. You will draw strength for the journey, for your ministry, for your life, for your children. When you understand this, it is true. Would you dance with me, your lover? Ah, my soul to the song of all songs. Preacher, hear me. Businessman, hear me. Dance with me. song of all songs powerful revelation the bible says in first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9 that eyes have not seen koinonia hear me god is comforting someone yes have not heard neither has it been revealed to the heart of any man what god has in store for them that love him there is a dealing with god that is in the realm of lovers that god loves you so much he can sit down and think about you and plan something for your life that will make you a wonder and a shock please do not forget that when it comes to the sovereignty of god god is not a man is a revelation I want you to hear. God is not limited by the limitations of men. Men are limited in knowledge. Men are limited in time. Men are limited in strength. But there is one who is called the monarch of the universe. And that when he decides to stand up and bless you and lift you, he will supply the strength and he will lift you the same way you press a button and a lift begins to rise. Is someone being edified tonight? The revelation of the love of God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says, For we know we are privy to an information in the, in the kingdom. We know that all things, not some things, all things work together. Please hear me. You lost a loved one. I know it is painful, but hear me. You lost money. You lost business. Your expectations disappointed. Let me tell you, we know they may not know but we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the call everything in a man's life is navigated by the love of God to square up to purpose and destiny this is the wonder of the love of God hallelujah mm. Moses ran away from the Egyptians and he went to the back side of the mountain thinking he was running away from Egypt he did not know he was running to the place of encounter where he will meet the burning bush hmm. very powerful it's amazing how God navigates men through the path of destiny it's amazing how many times you don't even know you are led Yet you are led. In the midst of your confusion, the finger of the ancient of days is upon you. In the midst of your cluelessness about life, yet he is guiding you by his spirit. And then when you see the wonder of his intelligence, you will stand back and join people and say, you are truly the monarch of the universe. I have seen this with my life. This is how Koinonia started. I have seen this at different seasons of my life. Let me tell you something. Do not stand the way of the wisdom of God over a man that he loves. Do not stand the way of the wisdom of God. The intelligence of God is so thorough. He ensures that you win. 
the love of God. Everybody say the love of God. Let it be a revelation that is in your heart. Don't give room and allow the devil to take advantage of your life and spy upon your liberty. No. Stand in the strength of the revelation of the love of God. For we know. Look at this. One day you will need this scripture sooner or later. For we know. Man of God, hear me. For we know. Businessman. Father. For we know. Apostle, I lost my father and my mother this year. I know it is painful. It doesn't make sense. But watch the intelligence of the one who designed the heavens and the earth. Listen, anytime your life looks clueless, tell yourself, keep watching. I've never had the opportunity to be, okay, well, I had once. I'm confessing now. Once in a drama group when I was in primary school. So fortunate I acted a rich man. I will never tell you the name. I know how bad you people are. You will not forget the name when I say it. They called me a wonderful name. They gave me pieces of paper and leaves. I was a politician in that drama. I would spray money and people would clap for me and so on and so forth. That was the only time I remember. Okay, well, and then a few other Christmas dramas here and there. But there's something I know about acting that there is someone called a movie director the movie director is the one invested with the intelligence of producing that movie sometimes the actors do not even understand the stretch they just know that in that movie you are acting you you die in, in jesus name sam is refusing you, you will not die in jesus name are we together now Yes. Do you know what it means to be mindful of a man? That means you sit down and invest your thought. To understand this, you must understand architecture. While you are talking to an architect, he's thinking, okay, so what do you want? I want a house. Let me prophesy someone's house already. I want... Yeah, sit down, sit down. Canal people. We are dealing with serious issues this night. Are we together? And you are telling the architect, okay, I need it a duplex, I need three parlors, one for business, one for family, one for this. I need a kitchen as large as a living room. I need this. And while you are describing it, the architect, watch this. The architect is intelligently, he's, he's adding imagery to what you are saying. And even things you want that you don't know, by reason of his experience, he now, he's, he's, he's filtering your amateur communication and he's adding his intelligence on it. This is what this guy meant to say. While you are talking, your heart too is talking and he's listening to both of them and capturing them in the design of that house. When he's done and he brings you and you stand, you say, if I were to draw it, it would not look like this. Beauty glory elegance this is what the bible means that when god sits down in designing your destiny he designs it thoroughly with his intelligence he designs it in such a way that insists that you arrive have you seen architects design buildings and later on they find out that ah this soil the topography is not conducive and they say no problem they have to make adjustments but that building must come out I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. The blueprint and the design for your destiny, it must be actualized in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Please sit down, sit down. Every building does not look like it till it's finished. Every preacher does not look like it till God is done with him. Every worshiper does not look like it. Everybody say the love of God. It's a powerful revelation. That God loves me. You know, I have, I think in the last, I don't know how many years now, it has become a deep revelation. Some, sometimes, I think in life, eh, as you grow in ministry, in leadership, and in age, certain truths of scripture begin to crystallize in you again. Are we getting blessed? Please settle with the love of God. Because there are some of you here, look at me. Your fathers, your mothers, 
your loved ones and everybody has concluded about you and you may not know the effect of that thing in your life until you get to a point where you just say can anything good come out of nazareth but the love of god oh the overwhelming never-ending reckless love of god oh he chases me listen listen to what you are singing oh he chases me down fights till i'm found leads the 99 that's strange i couldn't earn it and i don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never-ending reckless love of god look what god is doing in this ministry look what god is doing in our lives i continue to watch people as they grow in the spirit i continue to watch people transit like from egg lava pupa adult from a little shrub god is making many of us to become giants it does not look like it but be patient with god and watch the wisdom i say it again of the ancient of days it's a name he has to himself the revelation of the love of god let's hurry up so that we can pray number two the second way to be comforted the second way to be strengthened as a believer is the comfort of scripture please write it down make sure you are writing number one is the revelation of the love of god how we are strengthened number two is the comfort of scripture romans chapter 15 and verse 4 romans 15 please and verse 4 look up please if you can and let's read together one to read for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning uh-huh that we through patience and comfort of scripture might find hope do you know what this means let me interpret this to you the meaning of this is that there is nothing new under the sun and that the bible has captured different experiences that can play in your life and has already given you a preview of how the end looks like so that by the comfort of scripture when for instance you are bereaved you may not know if tomorrow will ever come but you can open scripture and see someone who was bereaved and see how the person survived after it and you would draw strength from it it's not called scripture it's called the comfort of scripture joe was a man in the bible who is a classic example of a man going down to the lowest and rising back to the highest job in one day i'm not sure any man on earth has gone through that kind of experience in one day a man loses his daughters in one day a man loses his sons in one day a man loses his estates and his businesses in one day a man loses all of this and then before job will finish coping with the sheer stress his health is now affected boils begin to come dogs will come and lick the boils of job many saw job and said oh dear once great job and here he's sitting only with the comfort of his wife and watch this god began to make a boast of job in the heavenlies and by the time we get to chapter 42 hallelujah the bible says verse 10 that and god restored the fortunes of job suddenly people began to come from everywhere and bring gift and the bible said all of them held a bag of money and gave him let me speak to someone the concept of things being over is not real did you hear what i said there is no such thing as it is over with god god can the worst thing that can happen is death resurrection is proof that god has conquered the power of death hallelujah Please find your dream alive. Find your anointing alive. 
get back and open the books that you wrote visions i will be a great worshiper i will sing to the nations men may not invite me now but in the name of jesus i find comfort in scripture that for a long time david was in the wilderness but a day came he appeared before saul your soul will call you for sure one day so david continue to learn how to play they may not invite you but stay until the season of appearing comes it is true apostle we've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb 10 years 15 years through the comfort of scripture god refers you to go to the patriarch father abraham and see what 25 years of endurance produce and when abraham finally held isaac they laughed and said all who hear will laugh with me Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. taking the pain and the sorrow away you've given me peace undeniable there's no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my every Psalms 119 verse 28. Please sit down. Want us to pray tonight? Psalms 119 verse 28. Please make sure you are writing these scriptures. You can comfort someone with it after service. You can minister to your family member. You can go and fast with this scripture and pray. My soul melted for heaviness. It says strengthen thou me according to your word use your word to strengthen me i cannot pay the rent now but use your word to strengthen me use your word to strengthen me i don't know where the finances will come from use your word to strengthen me my mother has been diagnosed of an incurable disease use your word to strengthen me i just lost a job use your word to strengthen me i don't know how the future looks like the word is a strengthener it not only gives information we find hope in it are we blessed yes the comfort of scripture number three the third way that we are strengthened in this kingdom is by a direct impartation and an infusion of strength from the lord directly God can stand up in his might and majesty and impart strength upon a man. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel chapter 2 please. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand up upon your feet and I will speak unto you. Verse 2. And the spirit entered me. When he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. He said, stand up. And he said, I have no strength. And his spirit entered and speak upon my feet. And he stood. So God can directly impart and infuse strength. Second scripture, very quickly, let's hurry up. I want us to pray. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, 
my brethren so he's talking to believers they who are of the fold finally my brethren be strong not in your bank account no be strong not in your uncle or auntie be strong not in your pastor or prophet or apostle or teacher be strong not in your father or mother be strong not in your certificate or your gift he said be strong in the lord and in the power of his might be strong in the lord amplify puts it in a very powerful way if you can give it to us if that is possible let's just look at amplified he said in conclusion be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength from him. That strength which his boundless might provides. Draw strength. To draw from you again. Again. We've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again, again. I've come to draw. I've come to draw. Draw, draw, draw from you again. Impartation, impartation, impartation. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13, we already read that scripture. It's very, very important. You can draw strength from him. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9, please. Let's look at it very quickly. Paul was crying to the Lord and asking him for help. Paul was weary. And here was the response of the Lord. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for you and here's the technology for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore i would rather glory in my infirmities paul is saying that the power of christ may rest upon me verse 10 therefore i take pleasure in infirmities in reproaches in necessities in persecutions in distresses for Christ's sake for when I am weak mysteriously I am strong are we together God can impart strength upon you God can impart strength he can you can receive a surge of strength and may that happen to someone tonight that every door you have closed over your life and your destiny you will go back and say destiny let's continue from where we stopped four years ago from where we stopped five years ago let me give us the last and then we'll pray i want us to take some time to pray how are believers strengthened in this kingdom the fourth way is joy the joy of the lord nehemiah chapter 8 and verse strength neither be ye dismayed or sorry or in pity it says for the joy of the lord is not will be not was is present reality your strength neither be ye sorry for the joy of the lord don't pack up your life don't wrap up your ministry don't wrap up your business don't wrap up your endeavor for the joy of the lord is your strength philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 it says rejoice in the lord always I used to think he said always but that's not what he said always as you go rejoice all the way any road and any place you find yourself let your disposition be that of joy rejoice in the Lord always and again I repeat rejoice why because in this kingdom you see my brothers and my sisters joy is like a fetcher 
that is what you use to draw from the wells of salvation when you lose joy there are many things that will not come to your life in fact the bible puts it this way it says they that sow in tears it didn't say they will reap with joy he said they will reap in joy you will eat inside a kitchen so if you are not in that kitchen there's no meal you will reap in joy Psalm 67, we'll start from verse 1. Psalm 67. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Say amen. amen. Verse 2. That thy way may be known in the earth, thy saving health among the nations. Next verse. Let the people praise Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Yes, please. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Five. Let the people praise thee, O oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Uh-huh. Then shall the earth, the increase that has always been there but has refused to come out, that in praise and joy, the earth shall yield her increase and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Listen to me. You have defeated life in no small way when you master the art of remaining joyful. You have defeated life in no small way when you master the art of being unperturbed by the vicissitudes of life joy all the way joy all the way you stand before the coffin with tears coming out of your eyes but you raise a song of praise and worship you go to your atm and check and your balance is 1500 naira and it looks like you've not done anything with your life you stand before your board and you see five carryovers and it looks like there's no hope of moving forward please hear me hear me hear me let life always find you in joy joy is a choice joy is a choice you can choose to walk in joy it's a choice the joy of the Lord is my strength choose to walk in joy let me tell you this and this is something that gradually the continent of africa and nigeria is losing because we were one time purported to be the happiest people on earth but right now the spirit of depression is just coming around horizon you see young people looking as if they are old joyless people people who look dried like a fig tree what happened why should i rejoice look at the way my life is no sir to him that is joined to the living there is hope there is reason to be joyful are you hearing what i'm saying the bible talks about people talks about all kinds of circumstances happening and people dry up because there is no joy in the midst of them when you are joyful joy brings songs of worship when you are joyful it brings expressions of strength of hope and of peace joy is so powerful that it was used as one of the indices that verify and attest to the presence of the kingdom that when the kingdom of God is in a place meaning when his will is being done it will be characterized by the tripartite realities of righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost a state of merriment a state of excitement that is based on a revelation listen to me the revelation is I will joy in the God of my salvation there is a redeemer that is coming there is the lifter of men that is coming there is the anointer of men that is coming 
So although the fig tree may not blossom, although there may not be olives on the vine, although all of these things left and right may not seem to be manifesting the way you want, you draw joy in the knowledge that there is a name that God is called, the God of your salvation. Do you know what that means? Imagine a house burning and while you are looking at everything born, you look at it and a time will come you will stop crying and you will start finding comfort. The house was insured. There is an insurance company that insured the house. That means now that the house is bond, it is time for your insurance to speak for you. You have an agreement with them that for as long as you continue to pay your premium, that when a disaster strikes, they will take responsibility. It is a mandate they have placed upon themselves. So while you are watching your house bond, you are regretting what is being bond there. You suddenly draw strength. There is an insurance. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's what it means to rejoice in the God of your salvation. The God of your salvation. The word Savior is the Hebrew word Jehoshua. That's where you get the word Joshua from. The God that saves. The one who saves. Are you getting what I'm teaching you tonight? It's very, very important. So you stand and then you draw strength. The insurance company is coming. And when you call on the insurance company, they come to stand and look at the building and value it. And within months, your building is back. And not only back, better. What you wanted to put in before that you could not put, now you have your chance. You wanted to put two parlors before. But the rigor of removing things, now everything is burnt. And now you have the opportunity to partition the house well and put the living room. God is speaking to someone. Joy. Please be careful. Guard your joy the same way a wealthy person protects a Rolex in a safe. Guard your joy the same way a lecturer protects his certificate. Guard your joy the same way money is guarded in a bulk room in a bank. Protect your joy by all means. Protect your joy by all means. It is your strength in this kingdom. It is your staying power. It is the guarantee that you will finish strong. Are we together? Yes. So number one, to be strengthened. The revelation of the love of God. Number two, the comfort of scripture. You see, look up, please. Look up. If you are a believer, <coughs> if you are a believer and your word study life is not effective, please obtain grace from God tonight to take your word study seriously. Because when life squeezes you, it is, it is written that will come out. The word of God. Let it become your daily bread. Not one, one verse per day. No. You should grow past that. Sit down with scripture. Study it. It's like a deposit you are making. The day you stand before Goliath, there is a scripture. The day you stand before Pharaoh, there is a scripture. The day you stand before Saul, there is a scripture. The day Satan himself comes to you, there is a scripture. The word of God. And then number three, the impartation, direct impartation. I believe that God will do this to our lives even as we pray. A direct impartation of scripture. And then number four, joy. Koinonia, access this mystery of joy like a river. Listen to me. Please listen to me. Life, 24 hours already has by default programmed in it too many things to annoy you. You will age yourself to death if you hand your life over 
to life to treat you. You must define your possibilities. The days that we live in now are days that joy must be a choice. Switch on your television and in five minutes you have had something that annoyed you. You must choose to maintain your joy. Go to visit your child in school and you will see a teacher treating the child in a way. You are waiting for your child to return with a wide result and you will see something that does not bring you encouragement. Hear me. Any other thing you base for your joy will disappoint you. It must be the joy of the Lord as your strength. As God comforted someone tonight, the joy of the Lord. Choose to be happy. You receive a call from home. Are you aware of the, the kind of, I mean, there's no money anywhere. We are going to die. And you say, mommy, calm down. Why should I calm down? Because God is still the monarch of the universe. There is always a way out. Two of you cannot be under pressure. You choose to be under pressure or God under pressure. He says, the keeper of Israel, the keeper of the covenant, not a person. That means, listen, when CGC is locked, the key is with someone. If that person does not come, we're in trouble. So when we want to access a place, the keeper of the key is important. So when the Bible said the keeper of Israel, you would think he's talking about the nation. No, Israel means covenant. There is the keeper of the covenant of my destiny. There is the keeper of the covenant of your destiny. There is the keeper of the covenant of koinonia. There is the keeper of the covenant of the prophecy upon your life. See, let me tell you this. Look at me. Satan is a roaring lion. If you allow his roar scare you, you will never be able to defeat the lion and cut the head and move. No, 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 no. Life will stand and claim bold face for you. You must sustain the intelligence in the spirit to say with joy will I draw. They see you bending for a long time and wonder what you are doing. And all of a sudden, you draw out prosperity, speed, increase, lifting. And while you draw it out, people will just stand and say, what is this? The joy of the Lord. You're the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your power. Much more than I deserve. Help me. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard the wonders of creation. The words you speak, come on. The words you speak, the things around your eyes, have lifted me. You took away the chains and cars that held me down. Listen to me. It is in your lifetime you will build that house. If it's in your lifetime, a day will come you will not think about money again. It is in your lifetime the anointing you seek one day. You will no longer seek it because it's with you. Listen to me, my brothers and my sisters. It is in your lifetime that you will smile again. There is a name God is called. The God of Jeshurun. He is called the one that rides upon the wings of the wind. Let God be true.
and let every man let every report medical report let every system be a liar let God be true and let every ministry report be a liar let God be true and let every academic report be a liar let God be true and let every financial report be a liar let God be true and every career report be a liar listen to me please hear me many years ago I remember one day I was sitting down somewhere in the campus and I saw a plane pass and I was looking at it and the Lord told me that the word will take you into that plane many times I believed him the Lord spoke to me that a time will come nations will come and will drink from that which he has put upon our lives I believed him listen you have gone too far with God to turn back remember Lord's wife remember Lord's wife husband and wife remember Lord's wife CEOs businessmen remember Lord's wife men and women of God remember Lord's wife that if you turn aside in the bay of battle your strength is small you must obtain grace to fight till you win you must obtain grace listen obtain grace to stand and face your fears fight and win oh they say you have cancer oh they say your genotype will never change that's nonsense obtain grace from god oh they say your children will never be responsible oh they say your life is finished see let god be true i'm teaching you how to win in life you must immerse yourself because the kinds the kinds of environment that africa is brooding the kinds of environment that nigeria is brooding is pungent i say that respectfully is pungent for greatness from television to internet to everywhere there's all kinds of nonsense that jump packs your ear sometimes you need to say hey when the music fades and I simply come we must be that generation you can shut away from the noise longing just to free something that's a word that will bless your heart there are times you need to off the TV, shut the laptop. I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself. Is that what you have required? It is within his power to make great and live. You search much deeper within. To, to. You look in into my heart. You are worshipping the one who sees into the heart of man. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've But it's all about you. It's all It's all about please listen to what you are saying it's all about you it's all about you Jesus you are still going to sing this song and then we'll pray it's nine we'll pray for a few minutes listen listen when you make it about your sickness Benny Hinn was and, and you know I, I follow him a lot and Benny Hinn was teaching in one of his healing sessions and he said he found out that those who receive from God are people who learn to forget about themselves the moment you are conscious about yourself the mountains magnify 
they looked on to him there was a brazen serpent that was lifted and they looked on to him and they were their faces were lightened illumination and God took shame and fear from their lives tonight we are going to sing that song again please take it high for me listen sometimes we need to remind ourselves and remind our generation that it is all about Jesus and I the ministry is about Jesus the business is about Jesus because sometimes you can be trying to make money and the devil looks at you and says you're a money monger you need to remind yourself and remind Satan that this is all about Jesus there are times listen to me that you will look at your children and sometimes you will put your ego on the line and he reminds you that it's not about your children it's about Jesus there is peace and rest when everything becomes about him nothing else matters nothing in this world will do listen for Jesus you're the center and everything revolves around you Jesus you Koinonia hear me when God chooses to lift you it's a choice he made when God chooses to honor you it's a choice he made God chose to speak to us that this year is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. And you may say, Apostle, we are just in November. You know how long it takes for God to do something? As long as his will allows. If his will says now, that's how long it will take. You are willing and able. Please listen to what I'm telling you. Because you see, Satan is a seeker of attention. Satan is a seeker of time. He seeks time using all kinds of distractions in your life. And if you do not sustain the ability to set your eyes like a flint, you will never be able to raise your children. You will never be able to pay the bills. You will never... Listen, let me tell you, see, hear me. When God becomes the center of your focus, you keep looking at him and setting your gaze on him. And you will not know when you are rising. You will check and find out that you are not where you used to be again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Please hold the hands of someone by your left and by your right. At the center of it all is you that I see, is you that I see. At the center of it all is you that I see. There is power in your name. Ah. Miracles, miracles happen in your name. As we lift up our voice, as we lift our voice and pray, it's you, it's you that I see, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. Hallelujah. I woke up this morning to pray at about 3 a.m. Now listen, we are going to pray. And when I woke up, I was just walking around. I was not even praying. And the next thing the Lord told me, go on your knees. I just rested on the chair and I was in the spirit. And the strange thing was, I saw the level of speed. Things were unfolding in people's lives, just like a new season. Listen, listen, I want to hear what I'm telling you. I saw people buying vehicles, getting houses, 
moving i mean listen listen i i mean what i'm saying you know how how do i put it now um there's this thing in a when you you have a, a any digital device and you are fast forwarding you can adjust the fast forwarding listen to me i was in the spirit when i saw this i was watching like a drama and then every time seasons are opening one of the ways there are many ways god shows me one either in a military military attire or number two the page of a book opening and suddenly i saw the page of a book opening immediately i saw this i came back and that's why the lord told me to bring this message let me tell you my brothers and my sisters new seasons always don't look like it but for those who have strength lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray. And the first prayer point tonight is you are going to judge God faithful. Take your eyes away from whatever has not happened or has happened and judge him faithful. Lift your voice and say, Lord, you are faithful. You are faithful. Both for the things you have done and the things that look like I'm not faithful God. Is someone praying? Koinonia judges you faithful. We judge you faithful. Saints of God pray. Mighty ones pray. Those who have been favored by the ancient one pray. Faithful God, ah. Hallelujah. Eh, eh, eh. Hallelujah. You're the faithful God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. To be faithful means to possess the quality of consistency. To be faithful means to possess the quality of unbendableness. To be faithful means to possess the quality of integrity, predictability, sameness. And there is a name God is called faithful and true. Lift your voice and say, Lord, I judge you faithful. You are consistent. 
I trust your faithfulness. Please help those under the anointing. I judge you faithful. I judge you faithful. Consistent. Unchanging. Unbending. Predictable. the same yesterday the same today the same forever we pray you're not a man, oh, you're not a man, oh, you're the God who opens doors no man can shut. Number two, there is only one name. There is only one name with power to say. No system can say with power to say. I'm establishing the second prayer point. There is only one name. my salvation shift me to my destiny push me to prophecy lift your voice and pray let my life see your salvation is someone praying God of my salvation and I like a mighty man that you are the God of my the God of my covenant arise like the mighty God that you are God of my lifting God of my rejoicing arise like the mighty man that you are Rebeke to pa so pleta, reka to pa sa, e 
The Bible says salvation belongs to the Lord. It is within his power to make rich. It is within his power to bless. It is within his power to lead. When God points at a man and says, this is my city to lead, there is nothing that can be done under the surface of the earth. Listen to me. Salvation does not just mean salvation from sin and Satan. It is the word soteria. It is also the word sozo. Are we together now? Soteria means to be grafted out into honor. It's a translation, a shift of realms, a shift of dimension, a shift of reality, a shift of results. Soteria. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. He says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. It is within his power. Point number three atmosphere she now says be broken Ray. Holy Spirit Holy Spirit come now heaven open is open before me but many are the adversaries it is within your power to dislodge the spirits program to hold destinies the stargazers over the destinies of men it is within your power lift your voice like a priest and pray tonight i command powers i command devils spirits ordinances
person. Koinonia, look at me. Satan will not fold his arms and let you raise godly children. Satan will not fold his arms and watch your ministry expand. Satan will not fold his arms and watch the wealth of the kingdom come upon you, knowing that you have the mindset that promotes Christ. Satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your marriage. Satan will not fold his arms and allow peace in your family. You are going to decree, you are going to create. I like you to rebuke the devil and command his powers. Give way, give way, give way, give way by the spirit. Command every force that is not of the Christ over your prophecy, over your life, over your destiny. By the blood of the eternal covenant, by the name of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed. He said it has never happened. And all hell is breaking loose. They say frustrate her. Frustrate him. Frustrate them. Man de kabata balata. Sekele bosata. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny? Come on, pray. Pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again, you pray in tongues, but until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break, the Lord was ministering this to me, is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. There are some of us. What must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling. Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family this night you must begin to contend i can't remain ss simply because everyone is like that i can't remain as because everybody is like that i can't have eye problem because everybody has it get angry bring them Bring them, bring them in. Oh, no, no. 
Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the bokotos. So both shepherds just those outside the power of God is falling I command devils come out come out come out I command powers demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. No power will hide right now. One, two, three. Go, 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 come out, come out of them. Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Lord, I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. 
as you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekoto soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shekete, mekoto sota, teke priaskaba, sombre tekete, sekete, bring them out. Sheketetetete, kaprekete lebos, embrekete. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Sheparekata, mamprebotso protosh, ekrete lebos. Sheketetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
All those that have come out. Those in front here as a point of contact to those who are there. By the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, now, now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. The mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. Bring the lady. Bring her here. Roshagata. Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. But the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. She out. Now leave her. Out. Never return again. Now all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free.
Marital delay. Give me your hands. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Pray Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take up out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Listen. Some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay. It will die now. At once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Alright then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibro. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. (coughs) 
let her go together with the delay listen lift your hands everybody outside lift your hands I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay Sakataya Mandekara. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go. Go, 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 I cause delay, I cause delay, I cause delay, every kind of pain, every kind of delay, where is the woman at? Where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that... That witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? You are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. 
you see why it's a blessing madam you feel pain at, used to feel pain at your back eh? you came here sick look at you came here sick now come and walk let me see where the sickness is now don't worry come up just come up check yourself check do what you couldn't do check whether the pain is there do what you couldn't do just do check i was already healed here yeah. you were what i was already healed you were already healed they have been calling me to come for this program i couldn't come even when i was in the shop my daughter said mommy come i kept a seat for you when you enter the holy spirit said, that is the man that will deliver you i gave my life to christ 20 years ago but there's battle i always complain why am i seeing my spirit in the village and anything will touch me with my husband there's nothing i went to even when you are preaching you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle i went to the last one i went to i weep i gave money i cooked to this woman he says it's a prophet you cook for the prophet who cook and after i left the place after i left the place he just damaged my email he was just say different things about me and i'm not like that and god did it for me today i'm the king give jesus praise <laughs> hallelujah you are the one that brought her are you her daughter no she's my neighbor she's your neighbor what do you want god to do for you i just want to get admission that's all admission yes. where University. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hand. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar. Bigger than any senate. He will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Where, listen. Whether you know what you are writing or not, May my God hold your hands. That oh, hand, that hand, oh, man, 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 it creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Zego paradia sagranda bali kete subaluti kada. Lekoto paradia saganda re atagadabaya. Parada shi amakrodi siza ma paradi ata zego shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me now. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out. You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Help 
me worship us. Be thou We're going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just ministered to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. 
every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus God has killed a lady a lady is that the lady another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yes. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of Jesus Christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how been long? I've drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names, hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. Ulcers. Ulcers are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, me. breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we we're outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That wicked chest. thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hands. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle run out here, even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem, but it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long sightedness, short sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition, 
be shield now please be checking yourselves check yourselves god is doing miracles now check yourself if you have any growth in your body please check yourself as you see god touching you come out you i tell you god is healing people if there is any growth in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition hallelujah we we'll take the testimony check yourself don't let the devil stop you what's his what's the problem with him look at this he can eh? praise the lord no 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 no. there's no time for that what is wrong with him this i can see completely yes who brought him here we came together with mama okay i'm going to pray for him as i pray for him keep testing him when he can see you just try him out the lord will heal him lay your hands on your no no let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. lay your hands by yourself on your eyes i command new eyes by the power of the christ how long has this been does she speak english one year two months yeah what happened to him uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital, and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah. So I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him see test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing? oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged huh can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So Father, I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light, you see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Huh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp and I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes each until you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, Behold, give Jesus the praise. Shall the I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And right now, miracles everywhere. Healed? Who Pastor. brought this boy? Okay. Father. How are you? Father. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. 
he's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside, okay, something entered me. So as as I fell down and I'm come here, now I I've, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought, eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Mm. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know. Every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and today like yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was, were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i'm like it started since this year and she's like okay do i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the words I'll, I'll, skip the word, I'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched light me. again you see and the light my eyes got very hot and then your I eyes it got open, hot yes and you felt it open, open to the shame of the devil it will never come back again read isaiah 51 just verse 1 and 2 let's and see to me ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the lord look unto the rock whence ye are hand and to the whole of the it, whence ye are dig, look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone and, and blessed, I blessed and him, blessed him and, I increased, and I increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It's, like some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got happened right now? So what but happened? while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely? Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely? Yeah. May be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eye used to cut Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain. 
So uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But m since that day, my mother and I never went. So sometimes I'll, my eye would be itching me. I was okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. Mm. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to heal, to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly, please. Help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting My with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. My God is. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise. It's in the name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at me since when i think a week ago now you you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it ah goodness look at this look at me brother yes sir look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. 
Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fix this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise. For that which you are doing in our midst this leg dries up in the name of jesus christ my god is awesome he can move mountains Phew. keep me in the valley i've been
my God is awesome. He is He's awesome. awesome. He is awesome. awesome. of them the right you've never been able to use it mm, except with age except with an age try to move it I can move it just where is which one which of them try to move it yeah? just what I'm telling you to do try to stamp it Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just release. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Just pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Quest, quickly, you are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Yeah.
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please everybody rise if you can please this is a very prophetic moment please we'll start praying the rest can come and join us the other one. pastor please. Praise God. Listen. Please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? This request have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in our unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come my God in the name of Jesus we trust you stretch your hands oh God and visit your people stretch your hands oh God and visit your people stretch your hands oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar that which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, oh God. In 
the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sara Praki Shalima Zatala Broki Jilibana Zataya. Rika Lujari Kra Zatata Pata Shitaba. The God of all flesh, Arapakata Shilia. Lazari Kapatasha, we declare Lazata Patasha, the one that parted the Red Sea, Rakapata Shitalaba, Ribizuri Branine Koto Shitalaba, do the impossible right now, do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the Red and you parted into two, do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people, behold their heart desires, let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now, intervene now, intervene now in the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and as, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies, testimonies, testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, open doors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone stand. Everywhere please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ.
name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word of God. Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward Possible do the impossible. I'm not singing, just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now be cancelled now be cancelled now be cancelled now be cancelled now, be canceled now. The book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the god that i serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now because now then the brat ishala kabaro satana malhati
for he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the irons in sunder my God I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if God be in this place I command those two leaf gates be open now be open now I prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they brought Mephibosheth a man who was not qualified but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David I pray by the favor of God wherever you need favor for jobs I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone called God I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord
to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of Jesus Christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted I speak to every job here receive increase I speak to every business here grow I command you to grow I speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of Jesus Christ let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers I prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of Jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and I pray may the presence of God go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of God pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ it ends here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life. Every dead word study life. In the name that is above all names. Come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head when I cry for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. My head. Hallelujah.
please remain standing there are people here tonight who are saying I'm tired of my life I'm tired of living my life the way I want I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord please listen but tonight Jesus is calling you may have a Christian name that's not the same as salvation you may even be a pastor that's not the same as salvation tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely I'm going to make an altar call just one to five I want you to run from outside from inside please run like your life depends on it you are saying Lord I am tired take it take it it is yours and I'm giving it back to you I am tired of living life my own way I have done my best I relinquish that whole one please rush quickly celebrate them as they come two uh -huh. just come out as you stand here just begin to pray and say Lord take over take over that's the song God bless you you are saying Lord I surrender everything I've been living my life the way I want but tonight I'm in business with you four please don't let anybody stop you from coming don't let the devil say you are too far start running from there young and old join us if you are coming please keep running don't let the devil stop you don't let your friend or your family members stop you hallelujah god bless you god bless you for all those coming thank you for that bold step don't let your friend stop you thank you our mother is coming god bless you god bless you no matter how old no matter how young jesus is calling you tonight God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything, take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision, mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you've lived your life, I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And that fountain flows to bless you. It flows to wash you. It flows to cleanse you. Lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. Please, you are not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you unable to help myself I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this i tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you're going to say satan i denounce you right now take your hands and leave my life i declare that i'm saved i'm a child of god the lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory i cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today I'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh God let this not be an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision 
in the name of Jesus make mighty men out of them in the name of Jesus Christ congratulations I want you to look at me I congratulate you for this great decision everyone here made this decision at one point now I'd like you to just follow our ushers there's a wonderful sister waving her hand I want you to just follow them they'll have they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow God bless you please follow them follow them very quickly please. all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here at koinonia we love you please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing god bless you if this is your first time wherever you are just run and come there is a special blessing for you don't wait for your neighbor you are the first person koinonia is this the best you can do for them thank you thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you we thank you keep coming don't stop we have a prayer for you and we have a blessing and all those who took the pain to invite anybody here may god invite all the blessings you need in your life i'm very serious i'm not just saying it if anyone came here as a result of your invitation i pray that my god will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in jesus name thank you for coming this is koinonia we love you we bless you i believe you are blessed tonight you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ prophesy upon their lives koinonia bless them we speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with prosperity we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding we bless you with grace we bless you with the power of the holy spirit may you experience the life of god in a new dimension may god plant a hunger for spiritual things in you in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah thank you once again for coming we love you we're always here fridays and i assure you that your life will never be the same Please, you follow the ushers. They will have your details. They will welcome you more on our behalf. And you will be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God. Our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him. That the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.